Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today bringing you another Warframe video. In this video I will be doing the tactical alert that recently came out called Phoenix Intercept. This tactical alert is another special alert just like the last one in that you can only use one type of weapon. This type of weapon is a heavy blade or a greatsword as I like to call them. So you can only do this with a heavy blade, you're not allowed to have a primary weapon or a secondary weapon and as a reward you get the new Tempo Royale. Greatsword Stance. I keep calling it Greatsword, I probably should call it Heavy Sword as that is the technical name, but Greatsword just sounds better, doesn't it? So, as far as what choice I have, I believe Gram and Galatine are two only Heavy Swords I have. Obviously, I will be using the Galatine because it was one of my favourite melee weapons for such a long time, even though I usually hate slow weapons. And it's just a huge badass blade, and I'm actually looking forward to this mission because, um, the previous tactical alert was thrown weapons only, so I had to use the Kestrel slash Glaive, and I just wasn't too crazy on it. I didn't really enjoy it. As far as what I act or you actually have to do in the alert, I have no idea. So I'm going into this kind of blind. I'm actually looking forward to it, and I'm going to see how well I do on my first attempt. So I'm hosting a lobby with three other people. I have no idea who these people are. They are just randoms because I am not coordinated in the slightest. And... Ah, okay, it's interception. Is it, is it interception where you have to control four areas? Oh, the skindo also counts as a great, as a heavy weapon. I suppose that's why they call it heavy weapons as opposed to great swords, because it also includes axes and things like that. So I could have actually used my skindo, or crafted a skindo prime or something. And it's on the Grenier ship set tile set. Uh, ship set? The Grenier ship shipwreck? Grenier ship tile set. What is it? It's for ship. Shipyard, Grenier Shipyard, Ship Graveyard, or something like that, which the art for is absolutely fantastic. I never spend enough time appreciating the vistas of Warframe, if I'm perfectly honest, but as far as the actual level design goes, it's not one of my favourite. And obviously, um, one second, is that? Okay, that's another ally. It did come with unique enemies like Persecutors, or I, I can't, oh crap, this is going to be hard, because um, they've got ranged weapons and I've got a sword. Um, alright, one second guys. Sorry, I just remembered another reason why I don't like this tile set too much, because it doesn't like my computer. So, you may be asking why I have picked Mirage as my Warframe of choice, and that's because one thing better than one huge greatsword is five huge greatswords. So this way I can just get into the enemy's area like this, and fail badly, because that is in fact one of the bloody... I, I hate the flamethrower dudes so much, not the flamethrower, the rocket dude, what, napalms, that's what they're called. They are the most frustrating thing, and when they have a snowy aura around them, it's even worse, like twofold. Alright, so let's actually try and do some proper damage to these guys. The, um, the Galatine is very, very powerful, and that's one of the best things about it. And as long as there aren't too many of these napalms about, I should be fine. And again, I'm really sorry about the frame rate, but that's because this tile set, my computer just really, really doesn't like it. It's like the void. I can, um. Jesus Christ, these guys are powerful. Alright, let's try using all my abilities to actually buff me up and um, to get my damage up. In fact, no, as I'm outdoors, that will get my health up, I believe. I think it's when you're indoors it gets your damage up. But now I've got five huge great swords and I've got increased health, and I've got Berserker, so I'll be attacking really fast. And I might be able to, if I ask for jumping combo, I think it's two then a pause for the spinning combo. So if I can try and do the spinning combo, that'd be great. Let's get more of me. And, and there we go. That's a spinning combo. And absolutely just cleaving these guys like a grinder. There we go. They're all dead. And I'm not actually controlling any zones right now. I'm just focusing on killing enemies, which is probably not a good idea. But if there's no enemies at the zones in the first place, then it won't be a problem. As if the bloody tile set wasn't bad enough, there's huge fiery dudes and the ice dudes. Let's not let you get away with that, thank you very much. What other combos has this sword got? Uh, it's got the hold one, so three strikes then a hold. I th isn't that like the lunge one? One, two, three. Oh no, that's for spin. One, two, three. Okay, I can't even do that because I'm attacking too fast. That's the problem with having Fury and Berserk at the same time. But let's stop this guy quickly. Oh no, did he get it? Damn it, I was slowed down for some reason. Alright, one, two, three, hold. Yeah, that's like the lunging one and it hits them up in the air like that. But let's get Bravo. My team actually seems to be doing fairly well in holding the other zones. And for God's sake, let's throw a Disco Ball out to get rid of these guys. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, to be honest. But let's destroy that before it ends up using all my energy. In fact, energy isn't really a problem, so I might as well keep one of the Disco Balls out just to deal with enemies in the distance. 
Then I will get my clones, I will get total eclipse back up for the increased health slash shields, and then come back up here to funnel the enemies properly and get rid of the flame dude because he absolutely he absolutely butchers my FPS and it's really annoying. And I'll do the lunging attacks to get a bit more distance. Um, there we go. We've actually succeeded the mission, so all we need to do is kill the remaining enemies, which I can do with another frame dropping disco ball. There we go. That will pretty much cover it for me. I forgot how powerful Mirage can be. That's incredible. And detonate it for a lovely explosion. Then... Oh, okay, so there are actually more waves. Awesome, because I was thinking that was a bit too easy. Um, but then again, I've got a very beefy team. My guys have like 1,000 shields and things like that. Oh god. Okay, wasn't the best idea. I haven't actually used the Galatine since the patch, so what is the jump attack like? Oh, okay, that's the same as the Skindo and the other heavy weapons. So let's um, <laughs> let's not do that. I was going to say let's go to a different area, but never mind. I'm just going to take out the fiery dude because they butcher my frame rate. It's the arson guys. They are so, so frustrating. So, God, he's beefy as well. I, I, oh no, it's because I've, I think it's because I've got an electricity mod on my Galantine. Gal Galatine? So that's, um, it clashes with your other elements, obviously. Wait a second. Oh, for God's sake. You see this guy? He will absolutely destroy him, but the arson guy is not so much. Alright, let's help get this spot. And seeing as I know enemies come from up here, I'm going to throw a disco ball up there. And hopefully that will get some... Yeah, it's getting some people over there. And Oh, this spot's been captured now, so I'm going to leave that over there. I'm going to go secure this spot, known as Charlie. I can still see the lasers. Oh my god, this is probably the worst mission for frame rate. To be honest, this is one of the reasons why I never actually did loads of Warframe videos, because if I'm not the best at recording it. I mean, Warframe runs really well on my computer, but when I'm recording, not so much. Because there's just so much going on screen at once, it simply has to render too much. So if I had a better computer, then I would have like I would have just spammed Warframe videos, because I bloody live the game. And are there people going down? There are, right. I'm just going to do a long range disco ball. Cross map. And look at that shit. Just destroying everything. And it's even destroying the people back here. I must have some mega range mods on this Mirage. It's been a while since I played her, as I said, but I forgot how powerful she really could be. I think, she, I swear, she's more powerful than Mesa, because yeah, Mesa's, um, uh, re not Redeemers, the, her pistols, the little pistols she uses, they are really powerful, and her ultimate is really powerful, but Mirage seems to rival that power with her Disco Ball. Who would have thought a Disco Ball would be more powerful than two badass pistols? That is a lot of enemies. Alright, let's deal with that, and look, look at this shit. It just annihilates them. Maybe um, maybe it's not so good on the later waves, but let's stop these guys from capturing this area. There we go. And Bravo is safe, and the Disco Ball is exploded. So, um, there is... um. Oh shit, I'm out of energy now. I've been using my Disco Balls too much. Okay, let's just go back to the old Great Sword and finish off these enemies, because... What, there's four waves left? Wait, four waves as in I need to get to... Okay, I now see where the difficulty in this mission comes from because you need to get to 100% five times. Is that really the case? If so, that's that's incredible. This is like more of an endurance thing than anything else, and I don't know how my computer's going to endure it, personally. All right, seeing as there literally are just five waves, I'll get back to you guys when I'm on the final wave so you can see how difficult it really gets. Right, so we're now on the final wave, and I will admit this has really ramped up in difficulty. The enemy types haven't changed, but they are getting so much beefier that like even my ulti is having difficulty killing them. And with only four heavy weapons to go around, it's getting pretty damn difficult. We have a Rhino Prime in our party who's been using his stomp to stop people deactivating the stations. But other than that, it, as I said, it's been pretty damn difficult. And the enemy's getting really powerful too. Like, I've been going down a fair, fair amount. And as you can see, the enemies are swarming us in the distance. So hopefully we can get this. I don't know where the remaining conflict is. I think it's this guy. So I'll get rid of the Eviscerator. And then we can capture Delta. All we need to do is get this bar to 100, then we have um, essentially won. But as I said, the enemy's getting really hard to kill now, and they're getting really, really damaging too. What I've been doing is coming up here a lot, because this seems to be a good point for enemies to come in. I've been using all my abilities fairly, like equips and um, the one that arms for things, and obviously I've kept Hall of Mirrors up pretty much every opportunity I can for the extra damage and for the decoys, essentially, which the enemy has been shooting at. But yeah, this mission has been pretty damn difficult, and and as you can see, they just do absolutely loads of damage. So, Hall of Mirrors again, but I think it's too late. 
I'm gonna try and deflect those then as soon as I can. Damn it, I don't have um I don't have my ultimate up. I need more energy. But oh god. Alright, I'm gonna have to keep an offensive on the stairs right here and stop the enemy getting down. But I don't think it's gonna be enough. They're too powerful. Oh, come on. I got an electric proc, which stunned the heavy gunner. And there we go. Managed to clear up those. But now they're coming from behind as well. So, we can finish off that Lancer. And we haven't actually lost any points yet. But I'm worried about I'm worried about Bravo. Because there's just so many enemies around this point. And I can't, I can't defend it. I'm going to stop using my other abilities as much. So that I can use a Disco Ball if needed. But I do need to be using Hall of Mirrors. Let's kill this Napalm before he does anything. If I get the spin, then I get a lot of combos on him. And that should kill him pretty quickly. There we go. Okay, and oh, this, this is a life leech guy. So again, I, I might need to spin him. And there we go. Spin to win, and he is destroyed. And oh god, more enemies. Right, I'm going to disco ball now, just so I can clear them all out like that. There we go. The disco ball is still powerful, just um, not as powerful as it was. Like the heavier units, like the napalm, it doesn't kill them instantly. And let's detonate that prematurely so that it doesn't waste energy. And we're at 67%, so this is, this is actually going well. I wouldn't say we've come close to losing. It's just getting a lot more difficult. I just did 21,000 damage then with a sneak attack. That was awesome. I love sneak attacks. I wish I could do them more often, but I never really play stealth frames. I just don't find them as fun to play with. So let's kill the guy with shield. People with shields are really, or, are usually really frustrating. When you have Hall of Mirrors, not so much, because you're just attacking from all directions, essentially. And again, great sword makes it so much easier. Alright, let's assassinate that because there's no more enemies up here. And I think I'll go explore the other areas of the map because this area seems to be doing pretty fine. Oh shit, I spoke too soon. Let's spin and wipe these guys out. There we go. They seem to be coming in little squads of five. That seems to be the general theme. I saw a lot of enemies over there, so let's... Wait, where do they go? There they are. Okay, they're trying to get alpha and there's nobody actually here, so... I'm gonna... Come on. Smash. Damn it. There's something in the way, I was hoping my um, my illusion would get him. But there we go, we did it. So let's send out one final disco, one final disco ball and wipe out the remaining enemies. And yeah, that's doing, a, that's doing a worthy job. Look at that shit. Disco ball, so fucking powerful. Alright, the two in the distance, can I get them? No, it can't. What about me? Can I get them? Oh, that guy's just going to die automatically. What about this guy? Can I get a smash attack on him? No, he's getting away. I want him. I want him. Oh wait, these guys are purposely leaving him, aren't they? So they can collect any loot. Alright, I'll toy with him for a while. Come on, come on, try and kill me. I'll wait for these guys to get all the loot that they want. For some reason they weren't collecting it during the missions. I think they're playing objective, unlike myself. Is that all you've got? Is that all you've got, my friend? Come on, try again. Try again. Come on, come on. See if you can hit me. Oh, there we go. Nah, afraid not. Alright, I'm um, out of stamina now. <laughs> So, I didn't go too well, but they're just going to revive me. I think they've collected all the loot they need to, so I'm going to I'm gonna kill him. And spin to... Oh, come on, guys. I wanted to spin to win. There we go. We got three Oberyn chassis, one Oberyn helmet, and we got the start... Oh, an Oricon cell. That's always good to have. But that was the new Phoenix alert, and probably one of my favourite alerts so far, or... Like, the Toxic Terror was, Terrors one wasn't too fun, the Throwing Weapons wasn't too fun, but this one did actually feel fun, and it felt as though it was a decent challenge without being stupidly difficult. But yeah, there we go. There is my new Tempo Royale stance. Please leave a rating if you enjoyed the video. This is me, Evans with Z111, out. Peace.